Hi everyone, I'm Rita from Nordic Crafting and today this is my project, homemade peppermint extract. So in order to make homemade peppermint extract I'm gonna use fresh peppermint and alcohol and water as well as a glass jar. This I have saved. Um, it used to contain salad cheese but I cleaned it off, boiled the sticker away so now I can use it for something else. Brilliant way of reusing glass jars. I'm gonna chop this up stem and all. Some people are using only the leaves but I like to use the stem as it does contain flavor as well. And uh, after giving it a quick rinse, I will chop it up to smaller pieces. I will fill the glass jar a little bit more than halfway full. And then I will cover it with a mixture, half and half of alcohol and water to preserve it, uh, making sure the leaves are covered. There is a way of creating the peppermint extract the, not using any alcohol. You would need vegetable glycerin in order to do that and you would require to use more than half of the liquid as vegetable glycerin. Um, you would just use a little bit less, like let's say half a cup uh, of water and then a full cup of vegetable glycerin to cover up uh, peppermint leaves. You will leave it for several months. When it's done, it will not last for as long as the alcohol-based one, uh, but it will taste equally good and be a non-alcoholic variety. You can speed up uh, the flavoring process by using a crock pot. Uh, then you place the jar inside the crock pot and boil it on extremely low temperature, keeping warm heat, for example, for one to three days until you have the flavor required. I'm going to use the paper just to gently dab off a bit of the water. I'm not pressing hard. And now I'm going to chop and fill this glass about this full with the peppermint. It doesn't need to be finely chopped at all. I might not use all of this. What I don't use now will be used for tea. I will make separate video for that. So now it's about this full. That should be enough. Now I'm gonna make sure that all of the leaves are covered uh, with alcohol and water where the alcohol is a little bit more than the water. So now it's time to add the alcohol and the water. So I start with one of these. And then I add a little bit of the water. And then I actually just pour straightly because now the rest will be alcohol. Like that. Now you cork it up and you do a twist like this. And then you put a label on it.
So that's how easy you can make your own homemade peppermint extract. I have put a sticker on as you could see me writing it, uh, telling the date and what's inside so I know when I put this in the jar. Every week I will take it out and I will do this. It will be stored in my fridge, cold and uh, dark place, uh, for anything from three weeks up to two months, uh, depending when it's enough flavor. Um, every week, after about three weeks, I will just dip a fingertip inside, uh, have a bit of taste to see if I like the flavor or not. Uh, when it's done, you will remove all of the leaves inside, uh, you just sift it away, and you bottle up the already done extract. If you want to, you can add a small twig of the peppermint inside the bottle for pure decoration. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you're not already subscribing to my channel, please do so. And remember to tick off that bell down there so you will get a notification uh, when I'm uploading a new video. Please press like on my video and please drop me a comment as well. Uh, next time I will do something else, so see you around. See you next time. <laughs>